Look at this. Ferrari the Ferraris, they're waving. What's up guys? I am here at the Thermal Club with these two La Ferraris. One normal one, one Aparta, which is a convertible. My buddy Harry Chung, he actually owns both of them. I used to shoot him at Global Rallycross when he was racing with Reese Millen's team. Reese is right there on the phone, just chilling out. But Reese is going to get behind the wheel of these and he's actually going to drift them. And so Will, you guys know Will, Will Rogue, Brandon Cotto, a couple of the guys are here to do kind of like a fun little video at the Thermal Club. And I'm just gonna be here taking stills and kind of telling the behind the scenes story. This is crazy. These are actually, they don't actually come in blue. See, they come in four colors, but they don't come in blue, especially this matte blue finish. It actually says hybrid vehicle on here, which is just so funny. Not one, but two La Ferraris. All right, so what's going on today here? Reese has known Harry for a long time. Reese recommended me to come out and shoot a project with Harry when Harry contacted me. He said, hey, I need somebody to come and shoot my Buck Blue, my La Ferraris, and I'm guess what? I'm getting a second La Ferrari and a Perta, so I want to make a video to introduce it to my Instagram followers. Is that why you grew that mustache? Yes. People with Ferraris respect me more now that I have a mustache. Yeah, I I respect you so much. Do right you? Now. Yeah, I oh, do. Thanks. Yeah, I saw you wrote like a little uh, treatment. You want to see it? Yeah, okay. it's pretty cool. So you wrote like a little. Uh, what this do you call it? Description. Uh, like, this is my shot list right here. Okay, shot list. This is some little... storyboards. Ooh! Right? So, the, Storyboarding. The whole concept for this is like back to the future, but buck to the future. I get it. I got it. <laughs> car, I got it. The car's black. I got it. So anyhow, we just like when Doc Brown was introducing the DeLorean in Back to the Future, we're introducing Buck Blue. Uh -huh. And then guess what? When he time travels to the future, he doesn't just come back. He comes back as the new Ferrari Aperta instead. What the heck? Right. So boom, out of but the time travel. It, it's it's going to be hard for people to tell that it's a different car. Oh, we'll make them. We'll make them know. Okay. All right. Yeah, because Reese is going to be hanging out of it. Oh! This is how you adjust the seat in this thing. You don't actually adjust the seat, you adjust the pedal box. Look at me. Oh my God. So what do you think, Reese? What? Uh, yeah, I'm sold if someone else is willing to pay for it. <laughs> That's basically what's happening right now, right? I mean, you're going to drift this or you're going to get it a little sideways. Yeah, the owner of the car is a good friend. Today is going to be worlds apart from tomorrow when we head down to Baja and we're bashing through bushes and moving rocks and today is going to be about uh, not hitting anything. So tomorrow's street tacos, today is Thermal Club, <laughs> which is the most... Today, today is caviar and crackers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just another day in the office for Reese Millen here. Always a good time following this guy. Yeah, so I've been shooting you since 2006. Is that what it is? Since your uh, yellow GTO days. Yeah, 2006. Yep. Been a while. Good old GTO. Looks like you've moved up a little bit here. <laughs> how, how advanced then, but how archaic that thing is today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now look at this thing. Holy cow. It's funny because this is the underneath the car right here. This is underneath. That's why it's so dirty. You can see all the rubber marks from yeah. running on the track. Oh, I love this right here. Maximum speed with winter tires is 124 miles an hour. Whoa. Look at the tire size. 345s in the rear. Do your trick. Do your trick with your beard. It's not long enough anymore. No, it is. It is. Oh, that's so weird. Did you see that? It, it just comes surprise. out. All right, so this is my buddy Hobo here. Right. He is not homeless, even though we call him Hobo. But that beard, man. I know. Just get in it's there. So good. It smells good too. You want to smell it? Mm hmm. Oh, this is so. This is gonna be a good day. Yeah. So you and Harry have something in common. So he has two Ferrari, the Ferraris. And which last time someone sold one at auction went for $7 million. So tell me about your S14s. Both of them are not worth $7 million. But both of them have K turbos. Right. So you're basically even. Yeah, right. we're pretty much buds. We're, we're pretty much even. Supercar you Sunday, are, see you there. Yeah, yeah. You guys are pretty much even. We got Magic here. Oh, Magic nice. the Machine Gun Johnston. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. Yeah. Because I'm Machine Gun Larry and he's the uh, video version of me. More, he shoots yeah, super one, hard. And we got Baby Cotto here. I'm just cleaning out my earpiece because I is like all waxed up and I left it for like three weeks, so it's like hardened on there. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> sir, I didn't want to know that, sir. Forget pursuit vehicles, forget Russian arms. Yeah, you can take your monocrane, man. You yeah, can, I know. You got the Chevy Trax, you got four suction cups, three of which work, man. I'm gonna shred with this thing. Yeah, <laughs> just, just shred. <laughs> just shred. Look at this. You got so, there's probably somewhere to attach something to. 
Right here, dude. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Kata's weapon of choice. We got Magic's weapon of choice here. Weapon. And then we got Hobo's weapon of choice. My, my good old a baby lens. <laughs> my, little, my little baby, dude. A little baby. It's my little baby. With a little baby yeah. lens. All right. And then we got Will's. Bunch of heaters in terms of camera gear. We got one Inspire 2 Pro here. What's the other drone? Inspire 1. Where is that? I don't know where it went to. Somewhere. Might have flown away. What the heck is this? William. William, what did you do? So, full traction off. Turn that. I got my buddy Harry here. What were you thinking? <laughs> I was thinking when I spec a lot Ferrari out, I did not want to go with the standard. Right? Yeah, yeah. Not yellow, not black. I needed to go with something special. Yeah. Because it's a special car. Well, you like it so much that you got two. <laughs> I mean, that, that and honestly, that's a smart move because they're only going to go up in price, right? I hope. So getting the car spec in this color was kind of like, I had to jump, jump through some hoops. Yeah. Factory did not actually allow me to pick this color when I ordered the car. There was only a handful of colors you could pick from. It was something they wanted to do to get the cars out of their factory as fast as possible. So I, this color started as white of all colors. And then I was like, let's, let's see what I can do to make it match the coupe. So you stripped it down from white and then painted so, it. Oh yeah, I found, so Ferrari has body shops that they contract for the special colors. Factory cars in special colors don't actually come from the factory itself. Mm. They have somebody else paint it for them. I found one of these body shops. They said they would do it. So I mm -hmm. shipped the car back to Italy. Two months later, I have a matching pair. That's awesome. That is super awesome. So what is this color exactly? It's actually an Aston Martin color. Fluke Platz Blue is what it is. But my spin, of course, is to make it matte. Ah. And I think it came out pretty amazing. Very cool. Fluke Platz, like the, like the corner in Nürburgring, huh? exactly. or the jump. Exactly. That's super cool. Yeah, these are definitely a handful to drive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a little different than your GRC car. Just a little bit. A little more power. Well, thanks for bringing these out for uh, Reese to to yeah, kind of rip around. <laughs> I'm stoked he's here to drive him. Like I, I, mean, I think I'm okay sliding the car, but he's definitely okay sliding uh -huh. this car, so. So what, what made you want to do this special project? I mean, just for fun or? It's purely for fun. Yeah? I mean, I created my Instagram account just for fun to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. And it seems like there's a little bit of a following, so yeah. I'm making this for the fans. There you go. So if you guys want to see the full video, or if you want to follow the adventures of Buck Blue, just follow Buck Blue on Instagram. For me to look from the outside, most Ferrari guys just kind of let their cars sit, collect dust and collect value versus you actually drive your cars hard. Yeah, I mean, off the showroom floor, they collect value. I'm going to put a few miles on it. Maybe a few percent comes off, but I would have gotten way more enjoyment out of it. Yeah, that's the, that's the key. That's the true car guy speaking right there. Stay tuned. This is just such a crazy car. I mean, there's such a disconnect. Everyone calls me the supercar hater because uh, when I drive supercars, eh, I like to complain about them, but partially because there's just such a disconnect with supercars. I enjoy driving them. I think they're works of art, especially these two things. I'm gonna take it out, get some shots of it. You can see in my passenger seat are my three cameras here, 35, 50, and 135. Those are all 1DX2s. Well, that's a first for me. I've never driven a LaFerrari before and uh, Man, oh, 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 it's electric car now. This is so quiet, this is so weird. It like turns on and off when it wants to. You know, it's, it's eco-friendly, it's electric car. Oh, this thing is, look at my passenger seat though. It's just so weird to be in a car that's worth this much and it drives like a normal car. Insane. Parked at my first shooting location here. Oh my god. This is so hard to get out of. Man, it looks so good though. In the sun, this paint is absolutely awesome. I see why Harry chose this color. All right, so now I'm going onto the red track here 
which is honestly one of my favorite places to shoot at the Thermal Club. It's very, very picturesque. It's just absolutely beautiful. Like the tarmac is super clean. The curbing is really nice and painted. So I'm gonna try to get some nice shots of this blue car on the red track. And we are out here at the red track. It's just me and the LaFerrari Aparta. And I'm just kind of doing my walk around here, just trying to pick apart the car just into shapes and lines. And I'm kind of just really concentrating on how the light is hitting certain panels and making certain shapes and it's highlighting certain areas. But when I get this kind of opportunity to shoot such a car, that really is a work of art and it's, it's you know, form and function. I just spend my time around it my, by even just moving it one foot here, one foot there, five feet here, turning it around in the same position and kind of just seeing how the paint is reacting to the sun. I just take my time, you know, because every car looks good in certain light and certain ways in certain positions. Every car is different. This is no exception. Like, I definitely noticed that more of my shots are front heavy just because I love the front end of this car. But it's also kind of weird when I look at the side of it, you don't actually realize how long the nose is until you come to the side. And then it's kind of a thing that you have to almost shoot around versus the rear. The rear is super short and stubby. But that's kind of part of the fun of it, you know, even though the car's not moving fast, I like to just pick and choose all the shapes. It's, it's something else. This is just too much fun for me. Look at these nerds. Hey man, that's not nice. <laughs> Getting bangers, bro? You shooting 4K? Uh, going down to 4K from 8 to punch it in real tight. You know, <sighs> put that top gear shakiness into it, you know, where they're like, oh, where's the car? Oh, well, there it is! And then it's an extra pass. <laughs> About to do it right now. I don't think anyone's ever driven a LaFerrari with three 1DX2s. I like the start sequence here. So you just turn on the key here, right? It yells at you. Oh, wait. Now it's on eco, right? And you hit it again and the motor starts. The V12 is there just to charge the electric motor. It's a great sounding generator. Yeah, right? it's a really loud generator. But yeah, put it in first and then we're off. You know, the thing is, I'm not a big guy on hybrids, but this is, this is not so bad. I'm more impressed with all these cameras. Look at you. <laughs> You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy, Blue! Another day in the office. What do you think? Oh, f <laughs> <laughs> What happened? I pulled the quick release out of Will Sticks now. He's gonna be he's gonna be real cross at me. So cross. Days like this really suck. Yeah. Yeah, really shitty day. What a terrible day in the office. <laughs> God. I'm gonna have to go to one now. Almost the last shot of the day. Eating some ice cream. Thermal club, amazing light. There's a car right there. Wow, look at Reese. Oh, hey, Larry. Hey. That's the <laughs> It's really good. Oh, this is crazy. Ah! I know. I even flinched. I wasn't even close. <laughs> well, that was just like straight on. It was like, Whoa. That was good. good. It's basically this and you breaking the record at Pikes Peak. What do you think? Ooh. Today was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, that car is ridiculous. You know, like driving downforce at Pikes Peak is pretty different because your, your pressure is so different than sea level. That is probably the first car, literally up and over into the S's here, you've got this climbing crest. It's the first time you go in, you usually would just kind of roll over and fall. If you click fifth and you feel the downforce just pull wow. the car into the first corner it is unreal well that's the thing is it doesn't have that much steering angle when you're getting it sideways too like you really had to mash on that thing huh? oh sliding that ferrari's the worst car ever to slide unless maybe it's purposely built for drift right cut to yellow banana car whatever it is. <laughs> 
Frederico, uh, shout yeah. out to you. <laughs> As a production car, they are one of the scariest cars to balance. You've, you've got no tricks that you have in drifting. You yeah. can't stall the wheel speed. Um, you can't you, pull no the e-brake. Brake. You, you can't no e-brake. Anything. You can't left foot brake or anything. And you can't even touch the throttle with um, the clutch system on the car. So, yeah, it's just full commitment and two mile an hour more and whoop, she's going around. Amazing. Which happened a couple of times. Yeah, oh. dude, this is the, some of the best stuff I've ever shot. How many guys does it take to spin a damn license plate? Well, it looks sick though. Yeah. It's, it's four right. guys and one girl. Shooting a plate. Shooting a plate. <laughs> Right, I get it! Shooting a plate, I get it! Yeah, that was nice. Did that land right side up? It did. Have it land towards Give us. it a couple more spins. Yes. Damn it. Hang on, there we go. Well, that's it. That is a wrap. Got all the shots we needed. Sunset was amazing as always here at Thermal. Car performed flawlessly. Reese, of course, the wheel man. Just insane, that guy. Car looked good, happy with the shots. So stoked on Harry letting the guys play with his toys, basically. If you have two LaFerraris, might as well thrash both of them. Thanks again to Harry for having us out. Thanks again to Thermal Club for letting us use their place to shoot cool stuff. And honestly, this is the fun thing. This is the passion projects that I love to do with my friends, just to make cool stuff and cool car culture content. Oh, this is crazy.